Hello world and welcome to Vault Hunters. Not gonna lie, this is a mod pack that I'm sort of struggling with. Something I am gonna do is have the vaults on impossible mode. That's right, I want the overworld to be normal and then have my vaults on impossible mode. At least that way I can at least call this a bit of a challenge. Now some of you may not know what Vault Hunters actually is. Vault Hunters is a questing type dungeon loot crawler explorathon. Something that makes me think that we're already gonna die a lot. With a myriad of stats, unlocks, and other different talents and abilities, we're gonna be in this for the long haul. And the only thing I'm gonna have to guide me is this trusty guidebook. We need the vault rock. The vault rock is gonna be our way of getting into vaults themselves. This means we need to find two things, shipped vault rock and chromatic iron ingots. So we need to dig down to Y minus five and below. So how about we start this journey? And I was off into the world of Minecraft. After getting some basic tools, it didn't take me long to actually find some good resources out of a broken nether portal. However, all my journeys didn't take long for the wildlife to start fighting each other. I knew this world would be a little bit more dangerous than I thought. My first plan was finding a village, but luckily, it didn't take too long for me to actually find one. How lucky am I to spot this from all the way over there? That <laughs> isn't even lucky that I managed to actually get these Frostwalker boots, that's good. I don't want to damage them because they're actually going to come in handy. Now, what does this place have in store for me now? Oh, a bundle. That's not bad for foot right off the bat. This is actually the first time I'm ever using bundles. But that could come in seriously handy. Now, as we're going along, I'm trying to pick up absolutely everything I can that could possibly use to actually unlock the vaults. Because if you don't know, something you can actually get with the vaults is a myriad of absolutely random items in order to actually get your vault crystal to activate. Diamond Ho, Efficiency Unbreaking 3 and Fortune 3. I'll take that gladly. Something tells me that living right next to this village is going to be a good idea, and with this much open space, the ideas could be endless. Well, it's not much, but we finally have a house. It didn't take an hour and a half, not at all. But we have something basic now. It's not the best build, but it's going to get us started. I think you definitely sound better at automation than I am with building houses, but it's a good start. We have a little mine going. Now, we haven't actually collected any resources yet, so that's going to be my next goal. But straight away, I have discovered a cave on my way down to the mine. With a lot of lava and a lot of enemies. But let's try and take that on next. So I'm sure you can imagine what happened down in the mines. A little bit of digging, a little bit of fighting, it goes on and on. Eventually, we did have to go all the way down to the deep slate level, where I discovered one of the largest caverns I've ever actually seen. And this is also the place where we get our first diamonds. I cannot believe the size of this. One of the first- Ah, oh, diamonds! One of the first times I'm really actually exploring the 1.18 cave. I am running low on this pick. I've got no other pick. I haven't actually collected a lot as of right now, but I need to do a restock, get some iron stuff, gear up. That's a little bit better. Slight improvement now. Ignore all the tools in the corner there that I've just abandoned. And with this marks our first diamond. We can now get the vault halter at least. We're going to want to collect as much gold as possible as we are going to need golden apples. Something I haven't spoken about yet, but inside the vault there is no passive healing. There is still hunger, but no passive healing, which means I cannot actually use my food in order to heal. I need to use potions and golden apples, so I'm going to need all the gold I can get. Also, now that I do have iron armor, it's still not the greatest. Everything has been nerfed. Everything vanilla based has been nerfed in this pack, so uh, I'm probably still only wearing the equivalent of leather, even if it is iron. What? Probably not the best place for me to actually go mining. 
But, going to be a good start source of obsidian. Or any lava lakes I want to use. This is pretty much directly underneath my house. After a period of about two hours caving, I realised that this is clearly not the way to go. That means I only had one option. Strip mining. Now, I know there's many techniques and I tried absolutely all of them. Found various goodies along the way, such as a zombie spawner, too, in fact. However, it still took me up to four hours to find our first pieces of chromatic iron. At long last, I have finally found some chromatic iron. I'm at level 50, I've been doing five levels down, repeatedly doing branching mining, but I finally have chromatic iron. Still yet to find vault rock, but getting ever so much closer. As you can see, we have managed to make a little bit of progress. We managed to get an enchantment table, but unfortunately, we still do not have any vault stone for crying out loud. But we have a full set of diamond armor. I have enchanted myself a pickaxe, so it's ended up being a little bit nicer for mining for this goddamn vault stone. And then we have a diamond sword, which has got looting, so hopefully that'll be good for the vault himself. Uh, I'm going to keep uh, enchanting all the rest of my armor. I don't know what specifically, because I really don't matter. But since I have this uh, chromatic iron, I thought that we should take the time to actually make this vault altar. That's at least a little bit step closer to what we need to do. Two hours later. So it's been so long now that I still have not found any vault rock and things are getting a little bit ridiculous now. <laughs> I have got so many enchanted things. I've managed to get mending and silk touch outside. I've managed to get ourselves a little bit of a village set up going with two of these guys. I've managed to make a farm and everything, but yeah, I still have absolutely no goddamn vault rock. So what I actually need to do now is find a way of getting better XP quickly so I can actually mine a little bit more often. Now, luckily on my journeys, I managed to actually get ourselves a few zombie spawners. So how about we turn one of those into a farm? However, before that, I need to actually go to the nether as I need one single soul stand. So let's quickly make a trip to the nether. Well, this isn't a good start. There we are. Oh, perfect. Soul sand, right here. Well, that was a swift no by game standards. How about we go and make this instead? And here we are. As you can see, it was right in amongst where my mine shaft is, level 15, where I did a bit of mining. Now, I'm sure you've all seen how to make one of these a thousand times before, so let's get into it. Just while this is building in the background, I just wanted to say if you guys are enjoying this episode, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and leave a comment about what you want to see me do inside of this series. Ring the bell button to stay notified when these next episodes go live. And we're done. <laughs> it's not the nicest here, but at least we have a way of actually, you know, getting some XP now. I can finally heal my goddamn tools. Hopefully now, after I'm fully repaired, I can fully enchant all my stuff. And then after that, I can actually find this goddamn vault stone. After finishing the zombie spawner, I thought I was still not ready to go back to mining just yet. So I had another thought. Just like I said earlier in the video, we're going to need ourselves some health potions. In order to get those health potions, we're obviously going to need some blaze. The reason we need blaze is obviously for them potion brewing stands themselves. However, it wasn't until I came back from a quick trip from the nether fortress that I realised something very different about how you make instant potions in Vault Hunters. So I was just here, you know chilling, eating bread, and then I thought, how about I brew some potions here, put in my nether water and all good. Right, how do you make instant health potions too? Ah, yes, golden apples. How do you make golden apples? Um, not the way you're meant to. I didn't know this had changed. I don't know what a vault apple is, and I need to be in a vault in order to get it. That means the trip that we did to uh, sort of prepare was a uh, complete and utter waste of time. I suppose that only means one thing, back to mining, ladies and gentlemen. At long last, I found some vault stone. You have no idea how long I've been mining for. I just randomly choose a random point in my mine and I found vault stone. It has been eight hours of mining and I got it by two squares. <laughs> two squares. Oh, now, I've been told don't do this with silk touch because that will stop it from working. I need to do it. Fortune does work, but there you go. But it doesn't give you any extras. Let's mine all of this up and finally see if we can get into a vault. Hello. Hello. Now, I thought that um, there wasn't meant to be any sort of exposed stuff of this. Wait. Wait a minute. 
You are joking. This is literally a cave I've already been in. There's monochromatic. The so I keep calling it monochromatic. There's chromatic iron literally over here waiting for me to mine that I found earlier. Look, I can't believe I was so close this whole time. It's been hours since I've been back in this cave and there were some right here. I can't believe it. We are back in the house and I haven't checked the inventory yet. I did go and mine that chromatic iron as well just to make sure we had everything down there. So I didn't miss anything in that cave this time. But let's see how much we actually have. 61 chipped vault rocks and plenty of vault cobblestone. Yeah, we've got loads of raw chromatic iron now as well. As well as that is inside of here, I also have a lot more. There's six there, but then I've got 36 raw chunks there as well. So there's a lot we can get through now. Obviously, we could probably dupe this eventually. So I'm really not going to. Yeah, there you go. I'm really not going to smell all of it now, but I'm going to smelt enough. At the same time here, how about we finally make our first rock crystals? Just like so. Now let's make. Well, I know what. Well, we can make up to 12 more, but let's, uh, let's leave that at that for now. And let's see what our very first one is. Oh, as well as that, I managed to find out that we did actually have one gold apple sitting in this barrel over here, just over here. So we've managed to make one instant health potion. So I need to still go into the nether to get some glowstone to make that instant health two potion. But the first one. Wow, we actually have all of that. We've got tremendous amounts of rotten flesh after all. But that's good. That's good. We can we can actually get the first one right now. So what was it? One rotten flesh. Six iron. Three gravel and two potatoes. Potatoes don't actually have. Uh, three gravel. And then we have two potatoes growing out here. Because we have loads. Oh, I'm so excited. We're so close to getting the first vault. Now I've been playing this for days. So... One, two, perfect. Not that. One, two, three, four, five, six. One of you and three gravel. Oh, that's been so long. How many crystals can we get? Oh, that noise. So satisfying. The first rock crystal. Vault crystal. We don't know what it is. Uh, We can actually do all this too. Okay, number three. Oh, we can do that as well. They're practically begging us to go in the vault. You know, come to think of it now, if we didn't make that zombie uh, spawner, we wouldn't actually have carrots right now, so we would be stuck. Maybe it's a good thing that we did get delayed. Ooh. Oh, I thought I was going to have a purple one then. Right, let's just do one more for now. I actually right-clicked it on. Oh, now do we have any of andesite? We actually have no andesite. Never mind, we can do the rest. We haven't got enough carrots right now, but that's all right. So I just found out something very interesting. I've just spent 20 minutes or so trying to get protection enchant books. And it turns out all protection forms have been disabled in this. Not good. As well as that, even though on my sword I have got looting inside the vault, looting is disabled. So it seems like some of the preparations I've done have just been completely ineffective. However, I think that since this is pretty much the best we're going to get, probably best we actually go into a vault now. So with this, we're going to make our first portal. But this portal is probably going to move eventually. But for right now, it can live right here. Ah, wonderful. Now this is going to be the inventory I'm taking first up. Two stacks of cobblestone just in case I need to get anywhere. We've got our instant health two potions. I went back to the nether and I got some glowstone. We've got our first crystal. I've got a bundle, luckily. So I can get some random little bits, but uh, let's see what's in store. I'm also taking this axe, just in case there's any wood that we have to break. I really hope we don't die on the first one. What's going to be in store for us? Let's dive right in. The vault. Beginner. Got nothing else. Right, we have to find monoliths. Now, I believe the monoliths, we are... have to light the monoliths. There might also be some other sort of ores that we want to get inside of this. Now, my plan here is to literally just, I'm going to mark with a torch every location we come in from here. That's going to be our entrance way. And that's how I'm going to differentiate. Oh, I should have brought a bucket of water, shouldn't I? Oh, never mind, never mind. Uh, any chests in this first room? I know you have to go sort of up or down. Do we want to find special chests? Do we just want to fight wherever there is? It doesn't really look like there is anything in this first room. Let's keep going straight. Straight's the easiest way. 
Hello, what do we have here? We have a decent amount of food in here. That's a good thing. Right, what's inside this house? There's got to be something inside here first. Oh, there's plenty of... Hey, a spawner. Okay. Maybe if I just stay here, eventually I can break this. Never mind, a spider first. Ugh. Thank God for that. Oh, God. Maybe I'll just kill everything first. Eventually, I should be able to get in here, surely. Never mind, the zombies want to come down too. This isn't good. Right. <sighs> right. Let's, uh, let's take... All right, here's another one. Let's retreat a little bit. We need to take some of this health potion first. How do we want to attack this? How about we try and go up? Or maybe through the roof? Here we go. Now I can destroy the spawner. Never mind, that does not want to break at all. Hang on a minute. How can I be hit through the roof? That's insane. Well, at least I can just attack him. What? Again? That's ridiculous. How can they actually fire through the roof? Right, we've got one potion left. And now they're coming from the ceiling. Let's, let's take a step back from here. Now, before I even managed to collect anything, we've gone down to zero health. We've got nothing so far. All I know is I've got nothing. There you go. There's something we actually need. Hang on, was that noise a spawner? Where are they going to come from? Hello? Hello, baby zombie. Well, at least it's just one. Come on, one more hit. Hang on, what? Uh, I heard another spawner just activate. Oh, and now I'm being attacked from behind. There's way too many of them. Right, there, there's, uh, let's run back a bit. We've got no health. What are we going to do? Ah, oh, right, here we go. One by himself and... Really? Life's like half my health. Or half the health I already had. At least not back's good. Right, what are we going to do the rest? Maybe I can just cheese them a little bit. Some of you may shun me for this, but I think cheesing them is going to be the best way. Right, another vault dweller. Now, hopefully, this one is going to be a type of guy that throws stuff and I can just cheese him easily. That will make things very easy, considering I've only got two and a half hearts left. Oh, what? Ugh. It seems... Every time that I want to be in a good position, I just get shunned. One heart. This isn't good. Hopefully we can clear everything. Or is this even actually the last zombie? Okay, I can hear another one, but where are they? Come on, I can hear you. Now you have to be the last one. I can't hit any more besides you. Just a little bit closer. Come on, one more hit, one more hit. A little bit more. Come on. Really? This guy's insane. Right. I think that's everyone now. I have no idea what these black market shards are all about. But we've got loads of them. Now what's in where the first one was? Hello. Loads of stuff. Right. What do we have then? Lamia or Woodalt? How much do I want to break? I don't think I need any more monolith stone, but I'll just get everything else. Right, I think we've tapped everything out now. We've got quite a lot of ores now, but I have no idea where any of them are for. However, I think that we should actually leave now. Really? A zombie? I've got one heart and a zombie's coming down the hallway. Maybe, maybe I can kite him? Do I want to attack? I'm really don't know. Right. Oh, yes. Come around, right. Come around the pool. Come around the pool and run. That's it. <laughs> We're going. Oh, hang on. No, no, not a vault dweller. He can throw stuff. Right. Uh, right. We squeeze past him. Right. Just run. Just run. Just keep going. Let's try and get back. There's nothing else in front of me. We should be okay now, but I'm just not going to stop running. Oh, no. I can hear one drop down behind me. Just run. Don't even look back. Don't even look back. I 
can't be dealing with this. Okay, we can't jump through. It. Don't even hit the cactus. Come on, don't hit a cactus. Oh, my heart is absolutely racing right now. <laughs> One heart remaining. Right, looks like we're going to go. Now, I know you can actually just wait around and get extra XP for getting down to like the last 30 seconds, but I cannot be bothered with that. Let's just leave here now. Oh, we did it. We did it. Somehow, 30 minutes in, we didn't get a level. We're very close to getting a level, but never mind. We'll get the level next time. Uh, 13 mobs killed, a lot of damage dealt, but a lot of damage received as well. Beginner's Grace, of course, we found no chests. We found no gold piles or anything. We killed four spiders. We just killed one more spider. Wow, spiders seem to be a lot of XP, actually. We could have grinded that out. Um, vault dwellers, they're horrendous. And. Yeah, let's claim that. <laughs> what did we actually get? So this is what we really got. Larimar, Upline, or Upline, uh, Benetoit, Benetoit, Black Opal, Panatine, Wutai, Wutodai? God, these are weird things to say. What happens if we break all of these with our fortune pickaxe though? What, what, how much stuff did we actually get? Well, from that we ended up not getting two of them but we got some of them but guys i think that's going to be where we're going to end off our first episode that was a bit of a wild ride this episode took me way longer than i thought it would just take three days in total just to get into a vault and then when i finally got in it was the shortest vault ever nearly died but we did survive but now the next time we go in we're also not gonna have our instant health potions that one door that one building really screwed the pooch in that but guys, if you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. That would really help me out and ring the bell button to stay notified when these videos go live. I'm already hooked on Vault Hunters and I need to get back in the vault. Especially now that I know that if I die, I'm not going to lose everything like I did when I tried hardcore. But until next time, guys, take care.